WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix is coming from the Russell off two points and the semis down 37. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. Dow's up 14 points, 13 points for the S&P, 36 points for the NASDAQ 100, about a quarter percent move there. Uh, you've got gold trading up 60 cents, so that's flat. Silver's basically flat. Well, it's down nine pennies out there, so it's not flat. It's uh, trading out of 24.06. Lightspeed crude is up two bucks. Natural gas is up two pennies, trading out of 254. The 30 year treasury down a half a point, trading out at 123.10. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the ES mini upper left hand side. The ES Mini, we do not have a top. I don't believe we have a top. Do we have a Wave 7 top? Give me one second here to check that out. We do have a Wave 7 top. Let me see where today's high so far is 47.9150. So we still have that in place. But if it spikes above 47.9175, that pattern will go away. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it's still well below its 50-day exponential moving average, but rising out here. So that's something to pay attention to. The NQ likely targeting the 16.975 level. That's this 1.272 expansion of its last set of swing points out there. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, U.S. dollar index did find support at its TD9 count breakout level for its weekly time frame. That was down at 101.60. Never got down there. Price right now is back inside its daily profile. If it can close the session above 102.18, odds favor move up to the 103.02, 103.36 level. We've got Goldilocks and Silver both consolidating with inside their daily profiles, both having sell the D point patterns. In the case of Gold, the support level is down at 2017.90 and resistance at 2062.90. If we take a look at Silver, its support level is at 23.90 and resistance 24.79. Lightspeed Crude. Very likely going to go target the top of its daily profile. That's up at 77.55. Both the bottom and the center are at that same level, and that's down at the low. That's at 70.14. That's a strong support level. If we take a look at natural gas, natural gas on Friday closed above the top of its daily profile. Trained above it today, that suggests a further rally. Now, further rally to where? Since there's no real swing point on this move to the downside, we'd have to go take look at retracement levels. We'll do that during the uh, during the first or second segment of the Trader's Ed Show. And finally, we take a look at a 30-year Treasury. If we did get a bearish reversal candle today, and right now I've got a bearish engulfing candle, don't know what it will look like at day's end, we would have a sell the D point pattern. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. Everything.